Hi guys, sorry, I'm actually really struggling to communicate at the minute because I'm blonde. So yeah, just blonde things. Hashtag blonde life. Uh, oh my God, my Fitbit's just come up with a really weird message. Blonde. This is not the final stage of me being blonde. This is the first lighten. And if I do say so myself, my hairdresser, Nikki, who said she watches my videos whenever I've had my hair done to read the comments. You're doing a pretty good job again at this light after one go. My hair was quite dark at the ends. Today's video uh, came to me in a dream, if you say. Honestly, it was a dream of Christmas time. It kind of felt, if I'm being honest with everybody, if I'm 100% living my truth now, right now, kind of felt like a Christmas carol, but it was the ghost of Christmas future and it was a well, it wasn't a ghost, but it was an idea of me. I wanted to play connect the dots and I was like, well, what if I play connect the dots in The Sims 4 with a build? Did I just create a new build challenge? Probably not because you know that South Park episode where it's like it's, the Simpsons already did it. That's how I feel about Sims 4 challenges. Like I think that I'm being really hip and creative and then I find out that the challenge already exists. A friend said to me, why don't you just take the Snape thing down if you're no longer a Snape truther? And to that I say, because it's funny. Blonde. <laughs> that was so funny because blondes have more fun because I'm blonde. Lean mid red machine. Honestly, I don't have time for you right now, babe. Jesus. We're just making you game. Honestly, new blonde. I can make a new game and I can make a sim who's blonde to build a house. A nice blonde house, maybe. What about me? I can't do anything casually. Like, it's got to become my personality. You know what? I don't need to actually put effort into the sim. But my nephew's convinced every time that my hair's blonde that it's green because it was green once upon a time. I don't know if anyone can remember the great green fiasco of 2022 when I tried to get pink out of my hair with dish soap. We call it just washing up liquid and it was green and it stained my hair green. And I was devastated because I thought, well, I'm, at least I could have used a pink one. It just stained it pink. What is giving build the dot vibe today? Connect a dot. Connect the dot. I've connected the two dots. I didn't connect it. What's Tartossa like? Oh, nice green bit there. I mean, this bit's blonde, but this blonde's only big enough for the one of us, me. So I've also put some deliberation into this as well because I was thinking you can't really make connect the dots with walls because you can't just place like one single tiny wall there. And from top view, that's not a wall, babe. That's a square. Oh, my enemy is no one by one square. So I was thinking, why don't we just use columns? Isn't that a name in Irish? And then we actually have dots to connect from. I do need to kind of make this feasible in some way, shape or form. So I don't know. You know, I'm just gonna, just a random, just like honestly, just vibing it. There's my connect the dots challenge. When I was a young rap scallion, my mum had to come into school because I don't know where she was. I've made a grand mistake. But yeah, my mum had to come into school and I had to me measure her shadow and it made me cry because then I had to leave my mum. I don't know if this is cheating because like how else am I supposed to connect them dots? Do you know what I mean? It's not cheating, Jessica. You're just an idiot, babe, because connect the dots usually have one, two, three, four, five, and you didn't do that. You is me. I didn't do that. Shame. Why did I do this? And then I guess I'll just make the inside rooms out of the last remaining columns. Oh, fuck this. No, I need to think this through, actually. I need to think this through. You know what? Let me just get some light inside because I'm really like, this is the literal definition of taking a stab in the dark, babe, because I haven't got Scooby-Doo. Excuse me, just... Light them up, up, up. All right, that'll do. I've used all of the things. And maybe this will just be one big open entryway. Or maybe not. Maybe it will. If I had just put a column there and like halved it, that would have been so fun for me. That would have been absolutely great. Alas. Oh my God, literally me. Alas. Oh, she says, what is that? I'm going to remain so calm, neutral and positive about this. And I actually really do think that we could make this work. I'm just trying to, that is giving bedroom vibes. Not in like the, you're so sexy kind of way because uh, it's a literal plasterboard and concrete flooring. But you know what? But if that gets you going, babe, this is not the channel of judgment. It is a channel of question though. But you know what? One thing that I've learned about in life Oh my God, is it one that the Fitbit is itchy. And number two is that honestly, there's a thing for everybody. Like I bet concrete gets someone got, there's someone out in the world that is attracted to concrete. Not me, not me, not me. Cause I watched a, was it Grey's Anatomy episode where a boy got like covered in concrete. So I don't f with concrete quite literally actually what was my point i've got a big house that's my point right that's giving bedroom vibes because it's big like you couldn't see a kitchen in there maybe you could mm. well not because if it wasn't a bedroom it would have to be an entryway and i can't see it as an entryway could i see it as a living room though if this was potential an entryway but like why is that such a big entryway do you know what i mean what am i gonna put there i've got to think about these things guys got to think about these things i think naturally that's 
just call in the entryway to me. But then where's the kitchen going to go? Right, Jessica, think about this, literally. And what's this room going to be? Honestly, I've shot myself in the foot and I don't even have a coffee. So I'm just going to have to rely on the old noggin for this one. And she's not been very reliable as of late. You know what? I'm just going to... Vibes, just five size vibes. Where do I think an entryway would be on this house? Maybe here, because this is like a little side bit. So this could be a toilet, you know? And then that solves the issue of like why that's there. And like, this is just calling for attention. So that could be, I could make sense for a front door there. Not an open one though. We do not allow guests. I don't know if, the, I don't know the vibe that I'm going with for the house. I'm just putting place markers in so I can kind of get my bearings. Otherwise I'll cry. I mean, it's giving Sims 1 and I'm no, absolutely not going to deny that fact. But Sims 1, she terrified me and it's just like this house. Okay, what does James Turner say? Find the roof point that you can cover the most of. James Turner failed me. Not click a bit. I just need everybody to hear me out. Oh, no, guys, I'm actually really stressed. God, this is difficult. I'm going to delete that. Boom. That's there. That's there. Right. Scrap that. Boom. Boom. A room and a room. But that looks weird, doesn't it? Maybe I bring the roof up. Bring the roof trim down. Oh, guys, honestly, I really don't know what the fuck I've got in it myself into right now. Like, usually I'm struggling. I'm like, ah, I'm struggling. But like, no, like, this is actually, I don't know if we'll find a way out. It's a 70s build. What if I just made a platform and just made it go as high as that? Why would you do this to me? Question mark. Right. I just really didn't think that the hardest thing would be the roofing. Right. Time out, guys. Time out, time out. Theorize some theories. I think I genuinely hate it here. Like, I've got the vision in my mind. I just really don't know what this vision is going to come up with and do to me in the long run. Like, I'm genuinely scared for where this vision is going overall. And I haven't even begun to think the outside yet. So, you know, wish me luck and everything. I think we're just going to go for a 70s vibe. Just pretend that this house needs rent. You know what? Maybe it doesn't need renovate. You know what? I'm going to be confident with myself. This house is absolutely exquisite. I actually don't think I've ever made anything better than this house. This house is honestly, you just aren't really prepared for what this house can do to you. I don't even know if I believe myself. You know what? I'm just going to start off with the outside. It's 70s, so we're going for a mix of wood and brick. That's the perfect brick. And then for the wood, just give me a minute. Maybe that wood? No, it doesn't feel quite right. But is it the lighting? I don't think it's the lighting. <laughs> I think it's definitely my, my monstrous creation. What about that? That could work. Delete that. Why are you doing... Why are you such a bitch? That's what I want to know. Does it change if I add a column? No, of course it wouldn't. Right there, that'll do. I don't know much about 70s roofs, actually. See, in my mind, all 70s roofing is just like this. Because that's what it's like where I live. But that doesn't look very good. Maybe just that. I really don't understand why I can't. Why can't I do that? Right, well, you know what? No foundation for us today, even though it would, it just worked too well in our favour um, and we'd be too powerful. So I understand why they're restricting it from us. I really, really, really do. Right, I'm just going to add the winters in on the outside. I don't know what that bit is, but there you go, babe. You're getting winters. That's why I can sort far you may not know the vision yet but i promise you it is it is absolutely without a doubt there do you see the vision now i don't blame you if you don't it's coming together in my mind it would look a lot better if it allowed me to do the uh if it just allowed me guys but what I mean, what I am actually i am actually trying to say something and the thing that i'm trying to say is it'd look a lot better if it allowed me to make it not flat on all one level because then this would be like very clearly a decking but it's not letting me do that because it's very clearly a bitch so we're just gonna have to struggle and that's that i hate this bit this bit would look so much better if it just let me raise it up a little bit but what if i just that helps solve a problem nice watch i'm working so hard on the outside and something will f it up it'll be me <laughs> i hate to say it i hope i don't sound ridiculous it's actually kind of come together who would have thought not me honestly ready to wrap it all in right at the beginning but i kept calm and i soldiered on i think maybe for the back garden just keep it simple i'll just simply i will not stress about the back garden at all because uh, you know what we're through the thick of it babe we are absolutely we're on the final stretch now of this house i've re I, I thought that the inside although you know what maybe not let me speak too prematurely because um we actually haven't tackled the inside yet so the inside could be you know the outside could be the camp before the storm do you know what i mean it could be much much worse from here on out so I'm keeping calm. Let's have a little conversation place here. I might even shut a table in. I've been known to be polite in some sometimes in some places. Okay, I refuse to let it take the piss out of me. All right, that's quite cute. I think the outside might be done. 
I just need to move the, the letterbox there. Okay, well, I'm glad we established that one. Now for the more challenging task of the inside. This is making me actually perplexed. Let me get a 70s door. That's a 70s looking door. Right, which one's going to be a bedroom? That is given bedroom. And as we've already established, that one is also given bedroom. And this one is given toilet bathroom mix. Where can I put kitchen in this bastard? I'm just not going to deliberate over it too much. I'm just going to go with the first vibe that I find. The first vibe, the first energy that I'm seeking is uh, kitchen right here. We're all vibes in 2022, guys. I know this isn't working at the minute, so do not fret. I was thinking about a dining room. I might put a dining room here, potentially, but then I also kind of... Maybe I'll do both. Maybe I'll just put that like there. Put the fridge there and maybe the oven in the middle of there. This could work. That's actually slapping. I think the only issue might be the sink because it'll... Yeah, just as I expected. Just as I thought. Trash. But then I think if it came out to there, you know what? I could always move that door, couldn't I? At the end, of, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I'm finding solutions to all of our problems, and I love that kitchen. Actually, you know what? I could even put a dining room. Hmm. Maybe not. I don't know. Because I don't... This is like really airy and open. I don't want to ruin it with a dining room. But maybe I could put a little breakfast nook. I could do that, Your Honour. I could. I could. I need to change your seats. They're interesting. I've noticed that swatch. All right, I'll just go with the green. It's easier. There. Like a little breakfast nook. Maybe even there. We could have a little bootcase against this wall. Oh, God. It's all coming together swimmingly. I'm a building genius. You know what? I'm just going to... Wish it wanted to a bit, but I, I have the confidence of a building genius. Maybe not now, though. Or maybe I do. Maybe I can just sneak. There we go. Or does that even need anything there? That's quite light and airy. I don't want to ruin the quite light and airy vibe that we've got. I might change that cougar hood, though, because that's not giving our light and airy vibe. There. I know it's wooden, but just imagine that's not wooden, and that's actually just our backsplash, and I'm really clever and intuitive for putting it there. I might actually dream home decorate the chairs just to get the right green, because that green is... She's nothing of the sort. That is fan drabby jersey, actually. I'm just going to put a big chandelier in. That'll do. I kind of feel like I need one there as well. Right. That's the kitchen done. And she's actually a beaut. I did kind of want to do a conversation pit here, but I don't know if that would be too much. I'm still going to try it. I'm just still going to try it. But rather than struggle, I think I'm going to do this off camera because I've stressed out too many times in this video. Fancy meeting you guys here. I thought something that could be really fun to talk about because my niece had a go at me. Oh my God, I just broke my chair. I pulled like the arm off. It's back on. Do not fret. My niece um, had a go. Well, my niece was quite disappointed. In me. Well, my niece was annoyed. Actually, annoyed is probably the word I'll settle on because I was in the bath which is next to the living room in my house. And I just was feeling some type of way. So I was just blasting church hymns um, from the bathroom. And it was quite loud, but I was just feeling myself in the moment. And I don't know if this is a known thing about British... I mean, it must be a known thing, but just in case it's not. One thing that British schools do is we have assembly each day around 3 p.m. Mine was 3 till 3.30 and then we went home. And what we do is we just sing songs about God. But it's not necessarily about God we just all go in a room and sing and it's a great time and my favourite hymn is I danced in the morning when the world was begun and I danced in the moon and the stars and the sun and I came down from heaven they whipped me in the street they hung me high so let me know what your favourite hymn is thank you I did not expect that to work I was going to make it bigger but it just kind of looked well it looked a bit odd thank god for the corner pieces I did. I actually didn't know that those corner pieces came in circle uh, they they do in fact come in circle so does that look silly I might just use kitchen cabinets for the conversation pit there that's like the perfect height and then maybe a bootcase either size you never know you never know I'm feeling very confident actually I think maybe a little stool put your shoes on in that and then where's my best friend the shoe rack love it and a mirror oh my god guys is this actually you know what one thing about me i absolutely struggle through every single step of the way and then make best friends with the build right at the very end apart from when that mirror tried to say goodbye like this is actually i'm actually quite shocked at how much of a success this has become like i think i'm quite enamored by this build actually i think we've got a good thing going and then we've got this big open space here what do i put here because like wood a table like, that'd be too much. Let me just get the chairs. Is that too much? If I took that out, would it be too much? There's too many chairs. Do I need to put anything that here or am I just overcompensating? Because, like, also, the thing with putting stuff here is, like, what direction should it face, you know? And it might just leave it blank because we might be able to put a rug there because we can't really put a rug anywhere else. I also need to remove that lighting and get a huge, really obnoxious chandelier to go down here. Oh, chandelier to go down here. That could work. 
Although I think, does that work or does that just work because it's the first thing that I saw put down and went, yeah, maybe that would be better suited to the theme of the house. Oh God, that's so dark and moody. I love it. And I feel like the flooring could ruin it. So I am actually quite scared. Really quite scared. We've got shag carpet in the conversation pit, obviously. Where's that avocado rug? Because that avocado rug would be an absolute statement piece right here. I think I've hate it actually i almost prefer the zebra print or maybe that green but is that green too on the nose no you know what i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna leave it because it brings out the green in there oh, fuck. guys i forgot about the entryway why did i do that i really thought it was gonna be a bedroom i literally i made a big deal about it being a bedroom shitting hell so is this literally just gonna be one one bedroom you know what those are the cards that we've been dealt we can do this i just need to think i just need to think i don't know why that one floor in is designed to be a bitch, but she is. Despite having absolutely no idea what to do with this, with this room, because I felt like th this room had already taken up so much of my creative energy. I actually think, what a job. Like she's pretty good. One thing I love about these challenges is I always find a way to push myself. Apart from the bathroom, bathroom, I will not be pushing myself here on it. I will be, oh my God, should we do like a proper 70s, 80s pink moment? It's not blue. Is it green, Jesus? No, right. We're going to do pink. And you know what? I'm going to co commit some sins today. I really am. And I don't care what anybody has to say about it. The sins are being committed. We're doing a pink bathroom. Where's the rose petals rug? I absolutely love it. And if anyone else is like, oh, Jesse, you say this every single time, how much you hate this and that and this and that. And then you always make it. Yeah, I know. Okay. I know. I know. I'm aware of my own faults. I also think that like this was going to be a bathroom, wasn't it? So maybe I should just be sensible. I mean, this was going to be a bedroom. So maybe I should just be sensible and uh, make this a bathroom as well. That'll do, donkey. I'm kind of still kind of with it, to be honest. It didn't even ruin my experience or anything. Right, this bedroom. I kind of want to keep it pink and I kind of want the carpet to run through no matter how disgusting that is. I'm just going to say that's a load bearing wall. So we just need that on there. And I've literally just seen a wallpaper that I want to use. Where is it? This room's actually knocking me a bit sick. It's fantastic. I like the vibes of that, but it's not quite like Nancy Wheeler enough. That's the type of bedroom that I'm after. You have to go through this room to enter the toilet, but you know what? The toilet's a great time. I would that would be the most tranquil shit I'd ever have in my life. I swear by that bathroom. I really do believe in that bathroom. Right, and then the final bedroom. I don't I mean, I don't know. I've kind of exhausted every avenue of possibility with the bedrooms previously. Maybe I'll just do a nice mid-century modern. A nice yellow. I mean, there's not really much room to put anything anywhere, but uh, Lord loves to try us, so we'll keep on keeping on. No, there's genuinely like no room. I might delete these windows because no one needs to see into the bedroom from the back garden, you know? The Sims 4 really has me feeling like Goldilocks sometimes because I'm like, oh, always feeling like, oh, this is just not quite big enough. It's just not quite right. And I think final piece, this little chair in the corner. You know what? After all of that, it took me two hours to make this and... I, you know what? It's actually ended up becoming a bit of a favourite for me. Like I've fallen in love. Maybe the real Connect the Dots challenge was the pieces I put together along the way. So this is the front of the house, the exterior. She was definitely a bitch. I wasn't wrong when I said that. I think that she was the hardest challenge because she definitely was. But then once, honestly, when she was put together and the vibe was established, it was just smooth sailing from there. I got really creative with this little mirror thingy majiggy. That was really fun. This entryway, great. The kitchen, showstopper for me. Sometimes I surprise myself that I can throw things together. GG didn't throw the, the uh, two crucial bits of information together that that was the front of the house and this is the back of the house. Pretended I did not see that, but we do have a lovely back door area and a nice little conversation pit with TV. So GG to that one. And then from the kitchen area, the main bedroom. Don't really like this one. Don't really like this one. Probably would have done better if I didn't make her at the end, but this house absolutely nearly, honestly brought me to my, tea my knees crying with tears, real tears. And then through the kitchen, we have the Nancy Wheeler bedroom. She would have loved this bedroom when she was a teenager. And then into the, you know what, a bit weird now, actually. Do like it though. Do like it. That is everything. I will upload it to the gallery in case you just want it. Can't imagine why, but just in case you would like it. It is there for your perusal. I'll upload it as connect the dots. It's marked as CC. I don't actually think I used any CC in it in the end. Love from Plum. There you go. I'll upload that. I love you all so, so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one.